Hello everyone, this is Robert, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about overhangs. In my last video, I did a review of the brand new Prusa Mark IVs and found that it had really, really good overhang performance, especially when compared to something like the Bamboo X1C. But after reading a lot of the comments that you guys posted and talking with a couple other YouTubers, we tracked down the real reason why it has better overhangs, and it's not necessarily because they redesigned the whole part cooling setup, it's not necessarily that it's a better printer overall, it's actually something else entirely. So let's dig into that. So first off, I want to thank everyone that commented on the last video. There was a lot of comments from people saying that they got it to print just fine on their bamboo or other printers and they didn't have an issue with it. So that kind of got me thinking about it a little bit more and also James Clow of Clow42 and Gerard of Printing Perspective. The three of us kind of troubleshot this and tried to figure out what exactly was going on, me a little bit less so than the other two, and we ultimately figured out that this really had nothing to do with the actual hardware. I was very fixated on this being like a cooling issue or you know, opening the door on the bamboo, taking off the top, increasing the fan speed, things like that, but end up being nothing to do with the hardware at all it's actually a bit of a nuanced bug in the slicer. So let's go into the slicer and kind of talk about how the slicer interprets the difference between a bridge and an overhang. So as you can see, I have the overhang test model loaded into Prusa Slicer, the same model loaded into Bamboo Studio, as well as Orca Slicer. And they're all pretty similar. I'm using generic PLA as a profile, 0.2 millimeter layer height, and for the Prusa, we're looking at just under three hours. For the Bamboo, we're seeing about two hours, 45 minutes. And Orca Slicer, about 2.45. So they're all very similar. But let's look at the individual layers and we can start seeing some differences between them. So first off, I want to say I have no idea what's going on with my cursor. It looks fine on my screen. It seems like something is weird with the video capture software. I apologize. So we've got all these things sliced up now and we're looking at the individual feature types. So here in Prusa Slicer, this outside line is very clearly an overhang perimeter, which it should be. Over in Bamboo Studio, it is also an overhang wall, same thing, oops. And over in Orca Slicer, exact same thing. All of these are 100% correct and I do have these at the exact same layer height, all that good stuff. However, if we look at the speed of all three, we can see some things change. In Prusa Slicer, the outside wall is printing at 10 millimeters a second. It shows 8.3, but it's actually 10. So that looks totally good. Over here in Bamboo, we can select speed. And the outside layer is actually printing faster than this inside layer. So we're printing the outside at about 50 and the inside at 10. 10 is correct. 50 is not. And we can see the exact same behavior in Orca Slicer. The outside is printing faster than the inside. What is going on? Well, we can figure this out by going into bridge and let's just change this to 500. Let's make the bridging speed 500 millimeters a second, re-slice it. And what do you know? It is actually treating the outside overhang perimeter like a bridge. And we can see the exact same thing happening in Orca Slicer as well. So even though it shows the line type as an overhang, it's treating it as far as the speed goes for slicing it, it's treating it as a bridge, which is incorrect. So now that we've got all this figured out, we can do a proper overhang test between the Bamboo X1C and the Prusa Mark IV S. I'm also including the Mark IV in there as well. It should finish here in a few minutes. All I did in Bamboo Studio is re-slice it with the bridge setting changed to 10 millimeters a second instead of 50 millimeters a second. This has an added side effect of making the print take longer because the layer after the infill is treated as bridges. So that layer took forever, but that's not really what we're comparing. We're just comparing overall overhang performance. So let's go take a look at these three models and see which one can actually do overhangs the best. 
As you can see, I cut the models in half just for the sake of time. I didn't want to wait around for the full three hours for all of these to print, so I just made it a little bit smaller. I'm also using a neutral filament. Not only is it gray, but this is not a bamboo and it's not a Prusa filament. This is just Overture PLA, which is just a relatively inexpensive and eh, somewhat mediocre filament, so they're all on a level playing field. See if you can guess which one is which and see which one you think is the best. This one is definitely the best and you wanna take a wild guess on which one it is. That is the bamboo. Back here, we have the Mark IV and here we have the Mark IV-S. Overall, the bamboo is very clean it performed a lot better than the first time I printed this when it was trying to do 50 millimeter per second overhangs. And it's just the cleanest overall I feel. Then you've got the Mark IV-S. Um, it looks good, um, but definitely suffers from the worst filament. Um, this did a lot better with Prusament. And then we have the actual Mark IV. And this one's pretty rough. And the Mark IV is definitely not known for its overhang capability. And it definitely shows here. So it suffered from the filament choice as well as the poor cooling. So, yep, pretty obvious that the bamboo has the best overhang performance out of these three on this particular test with this filament. So although the Mark IV S gets a significant improvement in part cooling and overhang performance over the Mark IV, I don't think it's accurate to say that it has the best overhang performance out there as I stated in my last video and what a lot of other people are saying as well. It has good overhang performance, but not on the level of the top performers that are out there. I think it is accurate to say that Prusa remains one of the best at creating a really good slicer and really good print profiles to go along with their printer. This is an issue, the bridging versus overhangs. This is an issue that they knew about all the way back in December of 2023, and they claim to have corrected in version 2.6 of Prusa Slicer. There is a tweet from Gerard of Printing Perspective where he mentioned some of these issues um, between Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio, and Joseph Prusa himself comes into that conversation and says that's something that they fixed in version 2.6. So this was definitely something that they were aware of and potentially aware that the competition still had these flaws in their slicers. So it's conclusion time. And this is kind of a difficult conclusion because I think it's pretty obvious that does the Prusa Mark IV have the best overhang performance of any printer out there? No, um, I think that's pretty obvious. There is a flaw in slicers that incorrectly applies a bridge speed to overhangs when there is a clear differentiation between a bridge and an overhang. That is something that Prusa very obviously knew about and very obviously fixed. And other slicers on the market have yet to fix that flaw. I am not sure if they were aware of this and exploited this for the recent launch of the Mark IV S where the review guide very clearly states to print out these overhang tests and you know print these with your other printers, knowing that almost every slicer, Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio are going to have that flaw. And when you just simply print the same model, it is going to look inferior. This really wasn't the case of a simple hardware upgrade where they picked the perfect fan and got the flow parameters just right. There's a little bit more to the story than that. And I think I said it perfectly in my last video when I said, as always with any of these launches or reviews, you don't have to buy it right now. You can wait until more people get them and make sure you watch every single review that you can get your hands on. And you know, see if the information all checks out and see if there's consistencies or inconsistencies with the information because some people might have different impressions of it or some people might have tested it more thoroughly than others. So that, and then I go off and ramble about some other stuff. But I think it's important to note that both printers and slicers are getting continually upgraded. 
the printer and the slicer that you have today might be very different from the one that you have six months down the road. I would be very surprised if Orca Slicer and Bamboo Slicer still have this flaw or bug six months from now. So when you're making a purchasing decision, just make sure you go into it knowing everything that you can. The overhang performance from the Mark IV S is different this week than I thought it was last week due to this little bug that was found. So always make sure you're making an informed decision, watch as much information as you can, and there is no need to make that purchasing decision right now because things are continually improving and changing. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.